Hello friends, my name is Hamid. Today I'm working on this Electrolux washing machine. The customers complain is that the soap dispenser does not open. It has a little tiny button. When you press the small button at the center of the soap dispenser, it's supposed to pop out, but it's not working. So I'm gonna teach you how to fix this. Here's the washing machine, as you can see. First of all, I'm gonna show you where the model and serial number is. Your model and serial number is right here. In order to order any part for this, you need that. See, when you press on this button, it's supposed to open. It opens sometime, but it doesn't open. See? So if it's not opening, what you can do is, you pull it out. Uh, there's a place you have to stick your finger, push it inside and then pull it out. When you pull it out, the first thing you want to check is this little small lever. You want to make sure it has a little bit of resistance here. See, when you push it this way, when you push it this way, it's supposed to go a little bit back and forth. So you push it, it should come out by itself. See, which is working. And the same thing, you're gonna make sure that this switch is not getting stuck like that because sometimes it will stay stuck even if this even if this lever is okay see it's working perfectly fine even if it's working perfectly fine it does not mean that it's not broken this button when you press it it should pop out again the way it's popping out so first of all you want you want to confirm that this soap dispenser um, assembly is working the button is working the lever is working now let's jump into the main dispenser here i'm going to use a flashlight to show you the inside here see where my flashlight is pointing right there there's a little small nipple there uh let me see if i can stick my hand there or i can use a screwdriver I got this long screwdriver and I'm going to stick it right here to show you how it looks. You see this lever? I'm going to uh, bring it a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'll push it not from here but from a little bit top right there you see i will push it with a flat screw driver you see the way it's going back and forth you want to push it all the way to the back see it's working so what you can do is if you see this lever you want to play around with it you want to get a flat screw driver and push it and see if it's coming out fully. As you can see, it's coming out fully. I don't see any problem. But once in a while, I've seen there's a tiny spring at the back right there. It's right there, the spring is in that area. That spring gets rusty. You get calcium build up there or any kind of rust build up there. That will not let this lever to push in and out. Uh, in and out. You see the way it's coming back and forth. I push it, if I release it, it should just jump. See that? I'm gonna push it. And I'm gonna release it. See? So it's pushing back. But what you can do is once in a while, it does not push back. Uh, what you can do is uh, get a towel like this. You put it right inside here. You stick that whole towel right there. You need WD-40. Um, I prefer using um, three-in-one oil. If you have a nozzle, if you have a longer uh, hose, you can add it and then spray it there, spray it. This, um, the way it shoots, you can see it goes straight on that spring. I spray it and then use the flat screwdriver. 
go back and forth a couple of times to get rid of the rust and calcium build up there. I spray it again on that spot. Keep doing this until you see that it smoothly goes out and in, in and out. You see now it's smooth. And you can pull out your, um, your towel. If you have to do some cleanup, you can also do a really good cleanup. And then after that, pull it out completely. Put your soap dispenser back in. And the way you're gonna add your soap dispenser is there is uh, two spots here. Right here and on this side, right here. You do not wanna make a mistake because if you make a mistake, uh, it's gonna cause issues. You see this uh, opening right here on the dispenser. You align it there straight on both sides, left and right, and then push it back in. So once it's pushed back in, now look at the difference. See? It's fixed. The more you're using it after the lubrication, the more smoother it's gonna get and that will take care of the problem. If, uh, if you're still having issues, the next part is to open the two screws on the back. There's one screw goes here, one there, and I'll show you a part on here. This pushes back the top panel. This is your um, dispenser assembly where the water valves are going here. You do not need this part. You only need this part. And in order to uh, replace this part, you have to open these two screws. This is screw from the plastic. This is screw. And of course, these water valves would come out and there is also uh, water lines here you're gonna disconnect this push this you have to turn it see lock and unlock you have to turn it and then you unlock it and pull it out you replace this assembly and that will take care of the problem thank you so much i will also show you a trick here if you ever want to know if there is any kind of problems with your washer um, if something is not working the way it's supposed to you can press cancel and a start button and hold it for five seconds like this at the same time. One, two, three, four, five. Within five seconds, it's gonna show you the error code. That's, um, error code was 59 for the motor. E59, that's the motor. If the wash motor is not working properly on this unit, it's gonna cause issues. But on this unit, I know what the problem is. The the bearing is broken and because of that uh, this uh, washer is getting that error code so i would ignore it because the bearing is bad on this unit that's all if it's working it should pop out like this and the the proper way to open this is to not press it at the center like this. You have to kind of press it from the top. I found uh, in the past that I always, if I'm always pressing this top corner, it really opens good uh, compared to this side or the center. It still opens, but uh, in my opinion, I think you, you want to press it right here on the top left corner. Thank you.